Okay. All right, going into round three. Um, let's see. We've got <laughs> we've got a bunch of really strange cards together, and no white source. So I don't think this is really keepable. I'd probably ship it. Wicked. Uh, this is considerably better. Yeah, I like it. Still kept the Triton. Yeah, we can do some fancy stuff. R lesson of the day has been keep D aside, though. Yeah. Just just always take it, always keep it. It's right on top. <laughs> Not going to get killed by a Karanos this time, huh? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Never again. Oh, hello, Sage of Hours. <laughs> That's a good one. I certainly oh, it's like just it with too hard for me to play trouble. heroic cards without hidden strings. <laughs> it is very good. Oh, he counters with uh, his own two-drop uh, blue rare. I can't believe he stole that from us. That's a pretty good one. Yeah, that would be huge in this deck, too. I'd actually be playing my Strife cards. Heroic yeah. versus heroic. Bring it on. I think he has a slight advantage just looking at my hand. Yeah. But Wave Crash can do some dirty things, too. Yup. Full on heroic. Didn't want to attack though. Interesting. I think I just play wave crash and pass. And probably I want to have some cheap ways to trigger his heroic. Or cheaper ways, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, it's hopefully he goes all out here. And puts a ton of stuff on that. And we can exoriate next turn. Absolutely. Non bestow creatures would be great. Yeah. Yeah, attacking with that seems fine. Okay. So do I just exile the flyer? It's tough. Mm. Yeah, because there's really... I could wave crash with Triton Tactics on both of these guys, tap down the Ravenous guy, and swing in and get three damage in. Yeah, it doesn't seem but very not good. I think because, you should... Yeah, that's not very good. I think it's, you could exoriate. I think that's a fine target to exoriate. All right. Well, yeah, especially since we have no nothing to block in the air with right now anyways, or nothing, nothing to stop him. Absolutely. Alternative, I suppose, is leave up Deicide and Triton Tactics and try to do something fancy on his turn. That's relying on him actually doing something, so... Yeah. I hate to play reactive magic a lot of times. <laughs> yeah. Proactive all the way. Well, unless yep. I'm playing uh, America Flash, in which case... You're, you're uh... I love it. <laughs> no fun deck? Oh, yeah, fun police. Absolutely. Fun <laughs> I'm just going to take this, too. I don't want to get rid of my wave crash right just yet. Yeah, until you have, you know, some sort reason of... reason to... But no, the fun police was incredibly successful. I only lost, I think, one match in the total time I played that deck. I won game day with it, and then I won another seven-round tournament with it. And then I had to stop playing it because no one would play with me. <laughs> <laughs> my record my record was winning in one uh, where the first game went 46 minutes. Yikes. That'd be grueling. <laughs> Why, yes, it was. It was excellent. <laughs> None of these For guys are down. enchantments, which is really annoying. 16 yeah, land deck, we're getting flooded a lot. Yeah. That's... Yeah. This is MTGO for you. That's fine. I ended up getting a Sage of Hours, so I'm okay with it. Worth. I don't even know if those are worth anything. And you can kill... No, you can't even quite kill the, the uh, snake here. No, not quite. But you can block and tap him down for two turns. I could, yeah. He's not on monstrous mana. Okay, well, like... Hmm. If I just tap everything down, like... I don't know if it's worth it. Yeah, it keeps block, it down. Block, I think at this triton. point it might be. Okay. Give if you try in tactics, I mean... Yeah, um, you don't need to take... Yeah, I don't block with Sage, though. I can block... You can just block the... I can just block Ravenous. There, yeah, that's fine at this point. You can you can afford to take four. I really do need something big though. Aspect of Hydra, brutal. 
And that gives him one, two, two just plus two, plus two. Four. So I could Triton Tactics. You can Triton. Yep. Tap down the snake. Sure. Because it won't untap. Yeah. Yeah. I got a counter on our guy. Hopefully we start stopped drawing lands. <laughs> Hopefully. I don't even know if we can really Oh, that's pretty good. That's not bad. Can't quite bestow it though, can you? No, one more. No. Jeez. I know, I think I have to wait to bestow it on the Lifecrest Triton. Yeah, you've got I have a, a turn where I'm kind of... So you, can get in for, you can get in for the... I could... Uh, you yeah. don't get in even, this is just, yeah, awkward. Yeah, I guess I could swing for one. But, yeah. And no, you'd rather just block two than swing for one. Yeah. Yeah. Or hey, deal... something to target with. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ordeal's getting decided. I think. Oh, yeah. Actually, yeah. I don't know if it is, more. is it? If he, if he attacks with, uh, I oh, don't know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna decide it now. Yeah, well, you don't want him to get a counter. No. Sorry, bro. It says Thoss in it. We should be able to get rid of all Thoss. <laughs> I agree. Do we tap down the snake <laughs> again? For permanence. Um, I think you could just put this on the Sage of the Hours. Just bestow it on the Sage of the Hours. Sage of the Hours have a big dude. Go to town. Yeah. Right. Start beat down. I'm down with going to town. To do. Oh yeah, six six. Or do you hold it back to block? Nope. Jeez, you might have to hold it back because you're at thirteen. He's at twenty four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven is the max he can do on board. Well, so far. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, like we're it. Just, we're just going like to draw go four more. Attitude. Yeah, we're going to draw four more planes in a row anyway, so we might as well get a call on the clock. <laughs> yeah, I guess he gets in for four here. That's a lot of mana. You know, or all of no. them. <laughs> 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 uh, How could we have predicted it? <laughs> Oh, that's got vigilance too. That's such a beating. That hurt. That hurt <laughs> oh a lot. Crips this. Perfect. We need to take uh, more turns. I don't think this does anything because he's got flying. Yeah, all of his creatures have flying. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Three, four, five. No, I can't do anything. There is nothing I can do here. It doesn't give me flying. No. So, <clears throat> I could tap something down, but it doesn't do anything because I still take two, three, four, five, six. All right. Well, we'll beat him in game two or something. We got this. Oh, of course. At least we know he has that card now. Mm -hmm. A null might be a thing. This Now this one, well, and Sudden Storm looks really good in this one now. Yeah. I think so too. More so than Triton Cavalry. It just doesn't do anything against his big beefy dudes. Yeah, you can take out yeah. the cavalry. All right, and then... You hmm, know we do no. have those combos. No more combo. <sighs> Flitter stat sad. doesn't seem like good. And no, I don't know. His big plays were enchantments. Everything else was just a regular dude. But instead of what, I'm not sure. Probably nothing. With yeah. more, with mortal in, I think we have enough ways to no, deal no, with enchantments. No, it's kind of awkward. Yeah. Because it wouldn't have helped in that last game because you were tapped out. That's true. So, and it's nothing you can just keep. Holding back, I mean, I know a lot of times you just want to use them the first enchantment possible. Mm hmm. And it's also Which really guess, awkward yeah. because you might mispronounce it on camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And then get flagged. This guy's got some serious sideboarding decisions to think of because he saw so many creatures and stuff in my deck. It's like, how can I make him not take extra turns? <laughs> We have some serious business with Sage of Hours. <laughs> the the blue mythics have been kind of lackluster in these last two sets. I think they learned their lesson with Master of Waves. So what was the other one? The other one wasn't very good either. 
in uh, Journey, or Born of the Gods. All right, the blue makeup. Yeah, I can't remember what it was. To be honest with you. All white. <laughs> Ready if we to draw an ship? island. I don't. If we draw an island, it's a mediocre hand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna model it. I don't feel like. Uh, yeah, sure. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> That's better. Yeah. Yeah, we got our bomb card. So. Deep water hypnotist. Yes. Yeah. Turn one charging badger ruins my day. Oh, where's Ben Daxos? We haven't even seen him. Oh, Daxos would be huge in this matchup. I know. I need to play a land before I play that spell. There we go. Yeah, we got a very aggressive draw here. Yes, that's we do. That's gonna Let's be nice. A, Unless he puts Warwing out a barrier. Yeah, if we draw Daxos, that'd be nice. Daxos would be enormous. Don't play that bear. All right. Boss. Nice. Skirmisher or Siren is the question. I think it's Skirmisher. Skirmisher's fine. Skirmisher gives you more options. Yeah. Especially if he doesn't play anything, we can get more damage in. Is Skylasher in Theros block? Because that would just be my luck. Nope. Dragon's Maze. Yay. <laughs> Snuck it in. My uh, knowledge of magic cards is embarrassing. Uh, nonsense. Oh, being at a card store now and having people ask me, you, you'd be so surprised at like the most obscure that they ask for. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm actually a very good magic player. It's just uh, when I'm playing with guests, I make you look good. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, one three, sure. And you get a reduce its cost, so you can or so I can attack with its power, so you yeah. can you can freely attack in with a uh, deep water oh, yeah. doing work. I don't even think I have an option to do it. Why? Why not? I don't think it says May. No, it's not May. It's just it does it. <laughs> you absolutely must Sage of Hours. I think I played just Lagana. He can still block it, but... Oh. That's a strange choice. It was a very strange choice. Okay. So no zero away? casting? No zero casting? Alright, well, I'm going to play Spell a three power. Thing. Target a creature. Yeah, that was that was a very, very strange choice. Maybe he didn't realize that he had negative power. It's pretty hard thing to oh, not notice. Oh, wait, yeah, he said, Tommy one day says, oh, wait, in the chat. He's like, ah, oh, yeah, minus two. <laughs> <laughs> That's really unfortunate for him. Yeah. That's pretty bad for him. Just give minus three. Oh, such a good card. When it works, it's a good card. <laughs> da, 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 tss, tss. So what's the next big thing on roguedeckbuilder.com? What are you most excited about putting out? I'm excited about the contest that we're, that we're holding. We need to make a video about that still, but... Yep. Yeah, and then eventually when Rogue Deck of the Month comes back, that'll be awesome. I had really good submissions last time. I just need a... I think we have a, a better team to organize it this time than I did last time. Yeah. So, definitely, I, I really like brewing with specific cards, and maybe it's it's one of those things I definitely need to bring out to the community, because I've, I've been brewing with the, the craziest cards lately, like the Disciple of Deceit, or the Battlefield Thaumaturge, or Twin oh, Flame. Card. I mean, there's just so many juicy cards out of Journey. Yeah. That all seem to interact with Hidden Strings very well. I'm going to miss that card so much. It is a really good card. So I, I feel it. like we need to just attack and then Crypsis whatever he blocks. Or maybe we have a one flyer, fire yeah, four. Yeah, you can be aggressive here. He's he's in very bad. Actually, no, hold on. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, I just win. No oh, problem solved. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. See, I told you I'm not horrible. <laughs> yeah, you didn't, didn't even know. ask us. I sure did. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'd like to use the ability. Perfect. 
All right. That's not a bad way to round out game two. Nope. So all we need to do is just play creatures every turn and then wait until he plays a sea lock monster. Yeah. Very good. Okay, cool. So I'm feeling that Daxos is going to come out this game. Um, not out of the deck, but he's going to actually be drawn and played. <laughs> We're going to mulligan until we get him. Absolutely. It's, it's got to happen. <laughs> Let's just take all of the, the one. let's take all of the other cards out of the deck, put more islands in, hey, and just mulligan into the Daxos hand and treat it like Packrat. Hey, I yeah, I've played a thirty-nine card one Packrat deck. <laughs> it's just it like YouTube. that because I get to play more. I get to play all this less stuff, and I need to have the land to play it right. That's true. Oh, I think I, I went two and one with the thirty-nine card Packrat deck. <laughs> I lost to a, a Pything Needle. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> nice. What? He had two and three of that match. Damn, that sucks. Okay, I like this Deepwater <laughs> Hypnotist Aqueous Aqueous Form. Oh yeah, and... this, this is a key. Because we're if we don't find the land, we're gonna find it with form. Yeah. Oh yeah, form and Hypnotist is really that's really, really strong against his deck too. Perma yeah. lockdown. I like it. Yeah, well, it's it not really a lockdown, but it's just it's the race. Yeah, it's that little advantage you need, and no bear for him. So and then your helps. your your uh, Laguna will give you three life as well. Yep. For then having yeah. enchantment out. Yeah, no, he just drew another land too, which is nice. Yeah, and and even next turn you could actually just cast a skirmisher if you. Yeah, if he doesn't play anything, I can just do that. Or oh, got the starfish. I'm still just going to attack into it. Yeah, yeah, you still oh, pay yeah. for sure. Yeah. He took the starfish. My starfish. Ah, <laughs> oh, I love that card so much. It is so cool. It's, re it's really good. I mean, it's no sheep, but it's close. Yeah. Oh, sheep's. I love that card too. <laughs> I know John is playing that in his uh, sideboard of his Mazes End deck now. It's fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, 05 gains you life every turn. That's great against Burn. Oh, yeah. And with Archangel of Thune, so much fun. Oh, that is a sweet synergy. I should have thought of that. Yeah. Him... I have a deck based around it and oh, Constellation. Sweet. So I ended up with like a huge Nyx Fleece Ram that was just beating down. Oh, we could see you funny. thought of it, so I don't have to. <laughs> Do I want to change the color scheme? No, I'm, I should be good. It's weird that. Modo would be maxing out my system's processes. <laughs> so heavy duty. It is. It's extremely heavy duty. My <laughs> six cores and two video cards is not enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, what? Okay. Huh. Well then, I suppose I should have changed the color scheme. You passed your attack phase, huh? Yeah. No, I didn't even mean to do it. It didn't give me the option to attack. Yeah, that was weird. Huh. Oh. Maybe you're hypnotized. Uh, that is going to feel yeah. really bad when I have my aqueous form. That's just going to be really sad. I'm, I'm going to feel bad about this, guys. No, you're not supposed to feel bad. You're supposed <laughs> to crush. An That's right. I mean, yes, crush. Crush, <laughs> crush all humans. And which one do you put it on? The skirmisher? I think I put it on the hypnotist still. Oh yeah, yep. I yep. like it on the hypnotist. And then I'm gonna play a band elder after that and get three life. I could put the emissary on skirmisher to be cute. I, mean, I suppose it's, it, it would have given me three more damage. No, it wouldn't have. It would have given me one more damage. That's fine. Bye you bye have that giant. ability to scry. I mean, you've, you've drawn. Uh, do I want the island for emissary? Probably. I've got stuff to do next turn. Well, no. No, I at don't. At this point, I no. I may accidentally draw it. Yeah, between draw, between our stuff, we can play. I'm mm -hmm. sure we go draw another one. Yeah, I, I think you'd rather have gas here than. You're gonna you're gonna run into a string of two lands here, where you won't be able to scry one of them. Knowing how we fled with this deck. Sorry, Swarmborn. Risky card to play. Yeah. It looked good. You know, without seeing my hand, it looked like a good play.
Blue is just so full of dirty plays that it's just it's tough. That's a lot of evasion. Oh yeah, scry one. So risky. He is going to have improved scry. draws. So do we. That's true. We're a little bit ahead too. We both, we both have a bad Thassa. There's that monster. That two five. Which still blocks everything, unfortunately. Let's see. Hmm. Attack with deep water and then make a choice, I think. Yeah, see what we scry. Yeah. Planes. We do own an island, though, so this is kind of awkward. You see, like, monster can just get us. Yeah, he's going to scry until he can monster us, huh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what is it? It's a 5-5? Five, five? It's a 5-5, five, five, but he can attack me because I own an island. So he doesn't need to monstrosity it. But he is only one land away from doing so. So that's cute. Which well, turns if he a casts Whelming Wave right now, I'm going to be so upset. Oh, a flying squid. Well, that's scary. <clears throat> it's, that's terrifying. It's not even just scary because of magic. It's just scary because of real life. Can you imagine a that. flying octopus? That's maybe, terrifying. That's maybe the most horrifying thing I've ever thought of. That is a big octopus. I feel like hitting the archetype with this is yep. just as relevant. Ooh, Crypsis. Because you can Crypsis and tap down. Tap down, Sea Luck Monster. Yeah. If, if Do you I care wave crash Triton? I wave crash Triton, Crypsis wave crash Triton to tap down thing and then attack with everything. Seems fair. I don't just wait yeah. for attack. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 doesn't quite get me there, but having a Sealock Monster tap down permanently seems pretty good. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. definitely okay with that play, and then you can actually not scry away. Wait, it's 7, right? So yeah, yeah, one, you two, can three, not four, scry five. away at another land if you see it on top. Yeah. But full terrifying that I don't, I don't think I want to have this happen. Hey, yeah, no, see? Oh, wow. He was so intimidated by all my Dragon Balls that he just decided to <laughs> call it a day. So that's nice. it. Uh, yeah, two and one on this one. One and two on the other one with zero wins. One and two-ish on the other one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but the thing is is that it's, it's actually really hard to play on Moto, record, and try to be entertaining at the same time. Like, that's where you yeah. really have to hand it to people like LSV and, like, the the pros. They're just so good at magic, they don't have to think about it, and they can just sit there and be yeah. entertaining. So and commentate. the more you do it, the better you get at it, and the less you stop attacking into 100-handed ones with everybody. See? Yeah, it's always fun. I didn't do it this time. <laughs> right on. Um, thank you guys so much for coming and drafting and letting me keep my color scheme on Windows 7. Um... Yeah, Kevin and Michael on RogueDeckBuilder.com. Super awesome guys. The best source for rogue decks and just deck construction in general when it comes to the alternative side of magic. Uh, my favorite Johnnies. Thank you guys so much, and uh, I hope we can do this again soon. Thanks. Thanks.